It's awesome to see. Um, actually, this morning I was hoping I had the goal of going 106, but I didn't want to, you know, get stuck on a number. But um, yeah, I've been trying to be really, really consistent, and it's it's cool to see it um, kind of playing out. I kind of wanted to give it a break um, for a little bit. Um, I sort of had to swim it in Atlanta, but um, I don't know here. Um, just kind of wanted to focus on sprinting and really enjoy racing and yeah. I still probably train a little bit longer, um, a little bit more towards the 200, but we definitely get enough sprinting and power training in, so um, I try to keep it as well-rounded as possible. Um, just more so giving it a break from um, racing and, and, and competing with it, so. I uh, helped at SECs, um, I was the volunteer assistant coach at SECs, and then at men's NCs, I just went to watch, so just to kind of spectate. A little bit, um, a little bit here and there, but and it's been fun, um, but trying to kind of do both. It's, it's challenging. I didn't quite realize how much it takes to be a coach. A huge appreciation for all of the coaches out there. Um, yeah, like, I walked away from SECs feeling like, Holy crap, like coaching is a sport in itself. Um, I wanted to treat SECs kind of like a training trip and like go and train and coach and help out and be there. But it was it was pretty exhausting. It was really, really exhausting. So it's cool. It was a very cool experience though um, to see it from both sides. I've tried to stay a little bit lower in the water, a little bit more forward. Um, in the past, I think, like I do have kind of a dolphin-like movement, um, a little bit more undulation than most, and I think that's hurt me in the past. So just trying to stay lower and more forward, pretty much. 